Um, this is a presentation of the uh, DPA microphones, uh, more specifically of the D Dicate 4017 and 4018. Both are microphones that you use uh, more or less as a shotgun microphone. So the 4017 is a proper shotgun microphone. The 4018 that I, I will show them all to you in a moment. The 4018 is a very small one which can be used for uh, closer by uh, close miking um, and uh, it's very very small so for example if you have a Steinway Grand Concerto piano uh, you can position that uh, microphone uh, even inside the piano and you won't uh, see a lot of it it won't take up much space and therefore won't interfere with the sound or anything like that um, these microphones come in very unassuming boxes, so it's just both are, um, the capsules are both packed like this. So it's a nice design, but nothing to, um, to be very enthusiastic about. And the preamps, which are separately, are also packed in these boxes. So it's just a cardboard box with a uh, barcode on the side and on the other side a uh, an image of the capsule and the preamps now um, I had the pleasure of working with two preamps and the first preamp is the MMPC and that is the preamp and it's at one side it's um, uh, a male uh, neutric connector and at the other side it's a sort of um, it's 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 um, uh, how do you call that a contact just a, an electrical contact as it were and the other preamp is the MMP B this has the male neutric connector and at this side the same but here you have on the side two uh, sliders that you can turn on or off one of them is a low cut third order filter at 120 Hertz and the other is a high boost um, filter and the, the the whole thing has also got a low cut low cut sorry um, first order I think or I'm mixing up the two possibly uh, 50 Hertz um, low cut filter so and you screw these onto this capsule. This is the 4070, 4017, which is the shotgun. I will show you the whole thing uh, assembled in a moment. And this one is the 4018. Now, if I tell you that uh, this, for example, um, weighs, I think it's about 50 grams or something like that. And this is, of course, negligible it's it's it weighs all almost nothing um, and this is the this the MMP C is the heaviest of the two uh, preamps and you assemble the two by screwing the preamp to your microphone and now you have a microphone that probably weighs something like uh, 250 or 300 grams so it's very very lightweight Despite the fact that it is lightweight and that we practically always uh, associate quality with heavy stuff, this is very high quality, but it weighs practically nothing. Now, this is a, um, uh, a preamp without any filtering at all, so uh, rumbling everything that uh, your voice or whatever there is in the sound that you don't want in the low tones is nevertheless um, routed through the capsule and through the preamp to your audio interface. If you don't want that, you just screw up the other one, the MMPB, and you get a much longer uh, shotgun, but now you have one permanent filter, a low cut, and two uh, 
uh, switchable filters. So that's the shotgun long style. This is the shotgun, the 4017, when it's uh, in its shortest version with the preamp the MMPC. And if you're going to be working with the 4018, the Dicate 4018, then you get this as a microphone with the MMPC, MMPC, yes, the uh, preamp without the filters, which is very small. You can even hang it from the ceiling on a cable. Or you get this thing, this length with the MMPB. Um, another thing that I should mention is that the MMPB, despite the fact that I expected this to be heavier than this one, this one is heavier actually. So um, that is uh, DPA microphones, Dicate, uh, the two microphones that I was allowed to test for two months and uh, the sound is incredible. I'm now speaking into a SE Electronics V7, that's a dynamic microphone, so it's very close to my mouth. I have to give it a lot of gain. You see where the microphone is, and I have a gain set in my Apogee element of 70. Um, with these two, um, let me put it uh, uh, differently, the V7 comes closest to these two, but you, you can't get the clarity, you can't get the accuracy of the low tones um, and the, the rejection of these, for example, this one, the, re the noise rejection uh, at 90 degrees and at 180 degrees, so over here and over here, is incredibly high. Uh, whatever comes through is absolutely not colored at all, so there's no sound coloration that I can detect. Uh, whereas uh, if I um, compare that to a Zenisa MKH416 or a DTS Mic 2 to take a much cheaper but a good microphone which comes very close to the Zenisa MKH416, the rejection characteristics of those microphones are very good. But this one is simply excellent, it's brilliant, it's absolutely, it's almost perfect, it's almost too good to be true, and yet it is true. Um, and especially in the low tones and in that rejection pattern, you s I, I, um, I experienced that the V7 from SE Electronics is actually uh, the one that comes closest in terms of rejection, but it is a, 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 a singer's microphone, so you actually need to almost eat your microphone uh, because it, it has such a, a, a focused characteristic, recording characteristic, um, and it's not uh, usable as a shotgun microphone, whereas this one picks up sound from 3-4 meters and does not pick up sound, uh, practically no sound, from 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and th the stuff that it does pick up from those angles is exactly and real accurate like uh, the sound that comes from the front where you're actually uh, targeting your sound source. So um, I have written a uh, review of these two microphones with the preamps. It's uh, available on visualsproducer.com. Um, be my guest to read it. I hope you'll read it. Uh, and then uh, you'll know what I think about it and uh, what makes these microphones so great. I think I've covered it all. So do read on visualsproducer.com my review and you'll, you'll find out why these microphones are such a high quality and why they are used by, for example, uh, sound engineers um, that... Um, make the CDs and the recordings uh, of uh, classical concerts like symphony, uh, orchestras, operas, etc. Thank you for watching.